What's going on fish nerds? Today we're going to be drilling a 10 gallon tank. I'm going to try not to break it. Okay guys, so you probably remember this tank if you've been watching my channel. This is the tank that had leeches and I actually have been letting this soak in vinegar and salt for a couple months now. So we should finally be good. But this, this tank is just a mess. This is just a big wad of algae that I guess had like formed up here or gunk even if it's not algae and it's fallen down in the water. That back there has got a bunch of new green algae growing on it and like the algae itself is purling. I don't know if you can really tell that. I gotta break this down, clean it all out, and then I'm just wanting to drill these tanks, hopefully not break it, and that way I can have a regular old overflow. Gonna drill this one, see how it goes, and then over time I'll work on getting the other ones, but since this one already doesn't have anything in it, it's the prime candidate to go first. Okay, so we got her all cleaned up, all scrubbed out and ready to go. Now I just got a drill. Got my diamond coated hole saw here. Ooh, focus, there we go. So we got that. And I got my bulkhead to fit half inch PVC, which is perfectly fine, totally big enough considering this is just runoff from the drip system. Not like it's gonna be carrying a whole lot of water. Very little at all. So half inch is plenty more than enough. So also allows us to make a much smaller hole in the glass. Okay, so to get started on this, I'm going to use this board to create a template of where I want the hole to be on this tank. So I'm just gonna line this up with the top and sides of the tank. I'm just gonna use the bulkhead itself. Measure out where I want this to go. I don't wanna to get too close to the rim or to the side, but I do kinda of want it up in the corner of the tank. Uh, this looks good enough to me. Do it there. the circle of the bulkhead. So now I will use a wood hole saw to drill a hole through here in the same size as what this diamond coated hole saw will cut. And then we can just run the diamond coated hole, diamond -coated hole saw through the hole that we put here in the template. And this will be my guide and that way I won't have to judge or try to hold it steady. This will hold it in place and everything like that. It will be good. To go. So I'm going to drill this here real quick. Okay, now, full disclosure and total honesty, I did not develop this technique myself. This is the very first time that I have ever attempted to drill a tank. So no, this is not my own technique. Everything I'm doing right here, I learned from watching videos, uh, especially from the king of DIY, Julian Mullen. So no, this is not mine. Not attempting to steal from him. It's just that I learned this from his videos. And now I'm doing it. So as I'm doing it, I'm showing you guys. It's got the wood clamped in place, so it's not going anywhere. Got the saw or the hole in place. It's a, actually a little bit bigger than the diamond one. Supposedly it's the same size, but it made a little bigger hole in the wood than this holds, but it should work should get the job done now next step is we need to add some duct tape 
up underneath on the inside of the glass. That way the duct tape will, one, keep any glass fragments, shards, powder from falling down into the tank and will also keep the piece that we cut loose from falling down into the tank, potentially breaking the pane that it falls on. Also learned that from Joey Muller. So, time to do the duct tape. Okay, so our next only steps left are to add water to this and to do the drilling. Now, when Joey does this on his video, his board is all flush up against the glass and it's all nice and neat. So when he adds the water, like so, it all just puddles and stays right there in that spot, which mine's generally staying there, but it, this, this wood is definitely not up flush up against the glass, but there is a puddle of water there. I may need to stop and add some more. In fact, I'm gonna do it right now. And the key here is to not apply pressure. Glass, it, it's very easy to break the glass. If I were to push through this while drilling, the, the pressure of pushing through and the drilling most and the, uh, the torquing of the drill would shatter the back of this tank. And especially with this being a 10 gallon aquarium, the glass on these 10 gallon aquariums is extremely thin, um, at least compared to something like a 40 breeder or a 55, something like that. So due to the thinness of the glass, it actually shatters even easier than the thicker glass. So I'm going to have to be extremely careful take my time on this and be very gentle throughout this process. And hopefully I don't break this. And uh, considering this is my very first time ever drilling a tank and doing it on a 10 gallon, I'm gonna be extremely proud of myself if this goes well. So I'm just gonna add a little more water here. It's starting to dry out there a little bit. Add the water and let's drill. And it just now occurred to me that I probably should have been wearing safety goggles. But I'm still not through. I thought I was through, but I'm not through. We're gonna have to give this another go, but I'm going to add some more water first. But uh, I don't know if you noticed me doing this, but I did start off a lot slower and then sped up as we went along. I've got a nice groove I can fit in here right now. Luckily so far it's going well. Now I'm through, now I'm sure I'm through. And uh, oh, side note, don't do this on tempered glass. It'll explode. Okay, so get up under our here. And our nice little piece of glass comes right off on the duct tape. Perfect. Okay, so got our nice neat little hole here all the way through. And uh, the water did kind of mess up my paint a little bit, but Overall, I am extremely proud of myself right now for uh, 
getting this done. My very first try ever as far as attempting to drill a tank goes. And uh, got it try number one without busting the tank. So that's awesome. Okay, now time for the bulkhead. Nice and neat, nice and simple here. Part here with the rubber seal goes inside the tank. Outside. Okay, so now that I've got this bulkhead installed, I don't want my water level all the way down here. I want it up more around right here, closer to the lip of the rim. So what we're gonna do is stick that on there and then I'll cut this where I want it. But the problem is that I don't have, well rather, I can't find my PVC cutting tool. It's lost somewhere in this garage. This garage is a mess again and I can't find it. So, gonna have to do it the old fashioned way like the Indians used to do it. Okay, so we got our nice little piece here. A little short end to go into the side of the tank. Taller end to set our water level. And we'll shove it right in here. This is a tight fit, but it's gonna fit. In my dad's words, I'll make it fit. And there we go. Try that just a little hair if I can. Perfect. Have to plumb from here. PVC will just slip right into there to run into my drain line. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, so got her all full of water almost to the top here. I didn't take it all the way to the top just because I didn't want it to start running in there and out here, but we are dry all the way around. Okay guys, so I realized at the last second, before, right before I added the substrate, that I should not add the substrate yet because I do want to put a matten filter in this tank. And if I'm going to be putting a matten filter in here, I want to do the substrate afterward so I have to wait until the matten fil until I get the matten filter and so I'll be picking that up in the next week or two then I can get this the rest of the way set up get the substrate in there and all that so I'm just gonna leave the tank empty for now until I get that but got it up here got it all in place and uh, around the back here I do actually need to get a longer piece of PVC before I can get this hooked up into the drain line so need to get a longer piece of PVC and need to pick up my uh, matte filter. So once I get that done, then I can get this tank set up the way I want it. And also, I have decided roughly what I want to do here with the 20 tall and this nice, awesome, rocky aquascape. And uh, I'm not gonna tell you what it is yet, but I want you guys to guess what you think I'm gonna do with this tank. I haven't worked out all the particulars of exactly what the stocking will be. I have picked out some specific uh, species that'll be in this tank, but I all, mainly I have the overall concept and uh, need to pick out a few particulars, but I do have an idea for what I want to do in here. Let me know your guess for what that'll be down in the comments below. And I do want to thank you guys so, so much for all your support, all the help with everything, all the comments and everything. Uh, really appreciate you guys. The support in this fish keeping community here on YouTube is just outstanding. And uh, I do want to take just a moment and shout out a member of our fish keeping community 
who unfortunately is now lost to us, uh, Akash, uh, a few days ago, uh, unfortunately passed from this world. Um, I won't get into the particulars of how that happened. I don't, I'd, I'd rather not talk about that, but uh, do want to say that he will be missed here in this community and uh, I also want to say it's awesome of the members of this community who have recognized his memory and uh, it's just a really sad situation and uh, it's a blow to the community but uh, glad that this is a tight uh, community here for for something that may seem as trivial as, you know, just a hobby, uh, I feel like this fish keeping hobby, this community has brought together this community in such a way that we can support one another. And uh, I just want to say I really appreciate that in, uh, in light of the circumstances around Akash. And uh, it's just a really sad situation there. But, uh, Again, thank you guys for all your support, not only to myself, but to others in this community. You guys really are completely and totally awesome. Really appreciate you guys, appreciate this community. God bless you, fish nerds. I will see you next time.